Hi, I'm Linda Cardamus from Teach for the Heart, and I want to talk to you for just a second about how this program is designed to help you reduce disruptions. And I want to start by just throwing out a few scenarios to you that you might be familiar with. Um, have you ever planned a great lesson, you were excited about it, and it was ruined by student misbehavior? Um, have you ever experienced constant interruptions and chatter, and they're so disruptive that you can hardly even get through your lesson? And you might even find yourself saying, I feel more like a babysitter than a teacher. Have you ever tried to make learning fun with a game or an activity, but it ended up being way too rowdy? Perhaps you've been told to ignore small misbehaviors, you know, pick your battles, and you've tried that, but that hasn't worked either because the disruptions and the disrespect don't go away when you ignore them. They grow and they spread and they produce chaos. So you might be here wondering, Linda, how can I minimize disruption so I can actually teach my content? You might be saying, I want to do fun things with my class and I just can't. Is this even possible? Well, I want to start by saying a lot of the things that we are told to do don't really work. Um, we've been told positive motivation and rewards only. How's that going if you've tried that? On the other hand, you might have heard kind of on the other end of the spectrum, the advice, you know, don't smile until Christmas. Stop being so nice. And that's not the answer either. What I'm going to tell you is that the real solution is that you need a plan, okay? Having a classroom management plan, this is the solution that will help you create a calm classroom so you can actually teach without a million interruptions. And I'm gonna explain exactly what I mean by mean by having a plan. The teachers we've worked with have used this strategy to drastically reduce the number of disruptions during lesson and work times. They've gained confidence that they know how to handle situations that might have previously dumbfounded them. And they've reduced their daily stress level to the point that they actually enjoy their jobs. I don't know if you've thought about this before, but a lot of times we as teachers struggle to be consistent in our discipline because we don't really have a plan. We don't really know what we're going to do when a student blurts out an answer or kids are talking or someone's rude or worse scenarios happen. And because that we're not consistent, you know, we might get really upset one time, come down really hard. The next time we might completely ignore it. Without this consistency, things fall apart really, really quickly. And part of the reason for that is that students just push boundaries. It is human nature. They are going to do it. And if we don't hold the line consistently, that line is not clear. And they're just going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing that line as far as we let them. You might have experienced something like this. It starts out with just a few kids whispering back and forth to each other, right? It's just a couple whispering. But if you don't do anything about that, now it's a little more whispering. Now it's getting a little bit louder, right? Now more kids are talking. Now it's the majority of the class. Now it's getting louder, more blurting. And before we know it, it is just chaos. And I can't get through my lesson. There are a million, million interruptions, okay? So when we're inconsistent, when we don't hold the line clearly, problems grow. Another thing that happens is students sense our uncertainty. It's almost like this flashing beacon that says, I kind of don't know what I'm doing. You can get away with more. Push the line even further. So we do not want any of that to happen. And a written classroom management plan is what fixes that. It's what helps you go from just inconsistency and chaos to you being confident, you being in control, the boundaries being clear, and rebuilding that respect, reducing those disruptions. I want you to imagine for a minute, what would it be, What, how different it would be if you knew exactly what to do each time a student misbehaved in your class. It would change so many things, right? If you knew exactly what to do, you would be way more confident and you would be way more consistent because all you would have to do is follow the plan you already have. The boundaries would become so much more clear because every time they're crossed, you would do the same thing. Students would then start to respect those boundaries and you would have way, way fewer disruptions. And you would finally actually be able to teach. In essence, you're reversing that beacon that said, I don't know what I'm doing, to now say, I know what I'm doing. Don't mess with me. And that's that intangible that you may have seen in other teachers and not known how to get yourself. It is with a plan. So real quick, I want to show you what a classroom management plan looks like and the five areas that are going to be covered in this program to help make sure you are ready to go to reduce disruptions. So your classroom management plan helps you know exactly what you're going to do and say when misbehavior occurs. This gives you confidence and clarity to be consistent and all the rest follows. So first thing is clear expectations smart procedures, positive reinforcement, 
logical consequences, and then planned responses. Let's go through these very briefly. So first, clear expectations. A lot of times we are not as clear as we need to be on where the line is. A student might do something in your class and you think, huh, should I allow that? Should I say something? Is that okay? Um, sometimes we're really not clear on, is a little talking okay? Is it okay to put their head down? Can they wander around the room? Um, for what purpose? You know, wh when do I, where, if we don't know where that line is, we can't hold it consistently. So we start by getting really clear on what the expectations are. Then we consider procedures. We want to make sure our procedures are smooth, they're working well, and that we're being really consistent with them so that things run smoothly in our classroom. And also we have that beacon saying, I know what I'm doing, and we're going to work together. Um, part three is positive reinforcement. We want to be encouraging to our students and motivate them in positive ways. So sometimes this can fall through the cracks, so we make sure that we plan for it so that that's happening regularly in our classroom. The fourth part is logical consequences. We think through what are consequences that make sense for my students, my personality, and my school. It's going to be different for everybody, but we make sure we have some ready to go for you. And even if you teach in a school that's like kind of anti-consequences, there are still some things you can do that would fall in this category. And then finally, part five, planned responses. This is where we put everything together and plan exactly what am I going to say? What am I going to do um, every single time a student misbehaves in a variety of different areas? So we go through each area and have a plan ready to go so that then you can be really consistent. Now, you may be thinking, wouldn't this take a long time to figure out and put together? And yeah, it's going to be a little bit of work, but we have made this so much easier, um, as easy as we possibly can, because we have put together templates and ideas so that all you have to do is go through the template, check out the ideas for each thing, and simply copy, paste, and tweak to have it fit you and your personality and what you think is best for you and your students. So we've made it really simple to personalize your plan to fit your style without having to start from scratch or to come up with all of the ideas on your own. We want your plan to be able to be ready quickly without taking up a ton of your time. We would love to help you with this in this program because when you have your plan, you are going to be able to respond consistently and with confidence. And that's going to make the boundaries clear. It's going to help regain respect and drastically reduce disruptions. I can't wait for you um, very soon to be like Bradley saying, I have confidence in myself. It's made such a difference. Students are responding to my greater sense of authority. And I have strategies to deal with situations that previously left me dumbfounded. Can't wait to work with you inside the program. If you have any questions, please just reach out to us at hello at teachfortheheart.com.